Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Games Rowing. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is the Monday Painting Video. What's the Monday Painting Video? What's all about? Well, the Monday Painting Video is a painting video, but the model on models in question are voted on by you guys, my viewers, from last week's Weekly Wednesday, which is a weekly Q&A. In that video, I'll show you a host of models and you guys vote on what you want me to paint for this Monday's Painting Video. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel the love. Thank you very much. I'll see you in a minute. So this week is, is a tie on the voting. So we have Rafe Guard for the Odari Army, we have the Shield Captain for Custodes, and we have a unit of Tyrion Warriors for the Tyrians. So one to two is Rafe Guard, three to four is the, the Shield Captain, five or six is the Tyranid Warriors. So two, Rafe Guard. Yeah, so these guys are a squad of five. That's the amazing sculpts. The first thing I need to do is sort out the uh, some steel leads and drag across the gravel. Just give it. A, it's, sort of, it's not a dry brush, but it's sort of a, a heavy dry brush sort of paint job slash. You know, so it's, it's not a dry brush, but it's like a gentle paint. It's a bit weird to ex explain that technique, but it just basically gives you dark gravel underneath. With bits of black coming through and then the, the light brown on top. And before I do that, I was going to paint these guys a carbon copy of this guy, the Wraith Lord. But now I'm thinking, no, I want to keep the Wraith Lords um, separate so they stand out differently on the battlefield. And also, painting that white helmet is actually painting the ass. So I'm going to do a different colour on their helmet on these guys. Because I thought if I do these guys a different helmet, I'd probably go with a purple on the body still, because that's very nice. But if I do these guys' helmets differently, and then the Wraith Guard, or the Wraith Blade, sorry, which are these guys, but with the two close combat weapons, if I do them differently, again, all three units will stand out differently on the battlefield, but they're all still uh, Wraith Constructs. So I'm going to take care of the, the still and drive on the base first, and I'm going to come back to you after that. All right, so to run you through my wet palette, I have some Nagraf Knight, I have some Corn Red, some Troll Star Orange, Lead Bell Chart, and some Youth and Grey. This is what I'm starting off with at the moment. <clears throat> now I woke up this morning and had a crazy idea to paint them Corn Red. And I said to myself, no, 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 I've got a plan, stick to the plan, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with Youth and Grey, I'm going to come in and get all the, the robes, the little tabards hanging down off of them. I'm going to give their head once over you from grey as well. So I'm going to go off camera and do those. Right, so <clears throat> now I'm going to come in with some Nagraf Knight. And what I'm going to do with this lovely colour is I'm going to pick out all of the armor panels. Now this is one of those colours that you don't really see until colours next to it start to be added on and then it all starts popping off. So I'm gonna do all of that off camera. Don't need to see me painting the whole model with Nagraf Knight. And I come back to you. It's done. And so here we are. Very nice. <clears throat> I've added some white scars and some retrieval armor to the wet palette. So I'm going to come in with some white scars first of all. And I'm going to just chuck a bit on. Just on here. Nothing too fancy. I just want to break up the youth and grey a little bit. Ready for some contrast paint. I'm trying to get a mostly central on the head. You see the difference there. Just uh, um, when I add the contrast paint, then it's going to give me such a, an amazing highlight without actually having to do anything. Just do this one, and then I'll go off camera and do the rest. I'm 
we go home and do the rest of them. Now I'm going to cover with some Retributorama. There's two bits I'm going to pick out. Here's a little chest piece here in the centre of his armour. I'm going to pick out. Should actually change brush. And then I'm going to do his crest on the back of his behind him. So I'm going to go off camera and do those. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in with lead belcher and I'm going to paint all of the gun with lead belcher sort of giving it a bit of a heavy dry brush try not to get any on the armour panels that I've already done with the purple get the pipe in get all of the soul gems like the ones on his shoulder on you know everywhere else and in between the legs like in there Yeah, I'm going to go around and do that on all of them. So here we are. Now with the silver, when I've put it on the gems, on like the legs and stuff, I've gone on to the bit of the purple, that's not an issue. Because when we come to contrast paint, it's really going to um, do us a favour. So now I'm going to come in with some corn red. I'm going to paint the barrel of the gun. Just so the gun, I don't really spend that much time doing a lot of work on the guns. But I do think that this one needs a bit of a bit of something added to it. So I'm gonna go off camera and do the rest on the rest of them. Right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in with some troll slayer orange. I'm gonna really water it down. <clears throat> I'm gonna splash it on the end here. Okay. Now it's going to look a little bit weird first of all when it goes on. But as it dries down, it's going to give me a nice little, nice little glow, fiery glow effect. So I'm going to do that on the rest of them, then come back to you for the next bits. Right, so for all intensive purposes, these guys are about ready. What that means for everyone that's new, I can put them on the table and away we go. But everyone that's regulars here will know what happens now. Now I take it beyond battle ready standard. And what that means is I could be doing a dry brush, a wash, um, edge highlight, you know, dry paint, technical paint, you know, anything like that. Any combination of that as well. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with some Aldari Emerald. Because I want these guys to really stand out on the table. But I want them to look part of, still look part of the uh, Aldari range, like the army. Now I think that the purple on the on these Wraith, um, Wraith Constructs, the Wraith Lord on these guys, I think really ties them into each other. And especially with the way I'm going to do the... the tabard is going to tie into the rest of the army as well but i want these guys individually to stand out on the battlefield so i'm going to come in with some eldari emerald contrast paint and i'm going to do the helmet this is why for everyone that's new this is why i did the euphorium grade and did a white in the middle so the, the white really stands out Now, I could have probably done two passes of the white, in all honesty, just to um, heighten that area even more, like highlight it up before I even started. But I'm going to go off camera and do the Eldari Emerald on the rest of them. Now I'm going to come with some Griffin Hound Orange. This is the same colour I use on the Wraith Lord, the same part, which is going to be the Tabard. And I think that's going to be my Eldari colour, to be honest with you. So again, this is where I painted the youth in grey and then come in with the white scars across the tabard just to give it a little highlight. As this dries off, it should really show you that highlight nicely.
But again, I'm going to just finish off the rest of them tabards. Right, so now I'm going to come in with Talizar Blue contrast paint. And this is a mad little technique now. So what I do with this is I will pick out all of the gems on the model. Yeah. Now, there's some on the gun here, but let's say I put it on, as I put it on, I accidentally hit the gun with it. It's not going to really matter because it's going to look like a glow effect. So I'm not going to do all of them on camera. I'm going to do a few so you can see what I mean. It really breaks the gun up then and just shows off. But this, these models are just covered in gems everywhere. So like when I paint the silver on the um, on there, if I hit the purple, it doesn't matter because when I come over with the contrast paint up on the, on the arm there, for example, you see I've got the sil uh, silver on the purple. When I come over with the contrast paint, it's just going to make it look like a glow effect. Yeah, so it's not an issue. So I'm going to go off camera and painstakingly go through every single one of these guys and do all those gems. And there we have them. I mean, the contrast paint still a wet, shiny, shiny. You can see that effect on the helmet now with the with the white, where the white's gone. You see it just fading off and different shades, which is great. <clears throat> so. These guys actually, I'm glad they're painted. Absolutely an amazing unit on the table, but I haven't mastered how to use them properly yet. Um, they only have 18 inch range on a weapon. So it's literally, you have to get as close to the enemy as possible. So they, you, they have to deal with you basically. But I'm glad they're painted. So a massive thank you to everyone who voted. If you're not subscribed to the channel guys, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people. And makes this amazing community of you guys grow even more. And I would like to say, um, if you vote for something it didn't win this week, don't panic because everything has to be painted. Now the Odari is going to be off the table for about a month or so because I want to try and add some more different units to it come back with a totally new not a new army but a new shake up on the army a few new ideas that I've had to add to it so again thank you for all for voting thank you for watching any comments or anything like that about these models my paint job whatever anything about this video just check on below as normal guys until next time thank you for watching hit the buttons for me take it easy